How are you? I'm well, how are you? I'm well, thank you. Good. Who's uh, leaving today? Hi, that is me. That is you? I'm going to England. I'm going to Oxford. Hey, congratulations. Thank you very much. It's a big deal. I've never flown before, so I am a little bit apprehensive about that, but... And who's seeing you off today? Who's this with you? This is my mom. Are you proud? I'm very proud of her. Very proud. And she'll be the first one that's gone through university in our family, and yeah, it's a big deal. Tell me the story of how this happened. Um, this program in particular I've been trying to get into for a couple of years. So I applied and I was accepted and it was just a matter of finances from there, but I've been working and we borrowed some money from the bank and we're gonna make it happen because it's something that I've wanted to do for so long, so. When you say you, you borrowed some money from the bank, who yeah. did that? Did you? Yeah. We co-signed. At, <laughs> at first we were actually thinking, oh no, we can't do this. Like we. we we were wanting her to be accepted, but then when the reality happened of her being accepted, it was like, what are we gonna do? Because I'm a single mom, and I didn't think we could swing it, but it was her boyfriend that said, uh, what are you talking about? It's, like, it's Oxford, you, you have to do this. Yeah. You said you were a single parent. Mm -hmm. So I imagine this has been a pretty rocky road at times. Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The numbers don't make sense, mm -hmm. but she, did it with two kids. Our grandmother lives with us as well. Like, she had three dependents and was unemployed for a period of time and just like made it happen. It's been a struggle, yeah, yeah. She made sure that the finances were nothing that my sister and I had to worry about. She made sure that we were always happy and taken care of and that that wasn't something that was our problem, which may have also been another reason that we never quite did the vacations, but it was never anything we missed. We were. Very, very happy kids. We, we love mom. Yeah. If I was to ask you to describe the relationship you have with your daughter, what's this connection like for you? It's been a strong relationship with us, and I've never had a hard time with her growing up. So it was, uh, yeah, it's, it's just been wonderful watching her grow. Can you take me back to the day she was born? I spent a lot of years at Sick Kids and growing up at Sick Kids. I didn't think I would have children. I was told by the doctors I wouldn't have children. Just, uh. Well, your stature. My stature. And I used to kind of be envious of people that just had children. So when I had met my husband, <clears throat> I had let him know I would probably never have children. And he said, okay, we could always do something else. But then when I got pregnant with her, it was like, wow, maybe I can do this. For me to actually have children, it was a huge blessing. And I can honestly say I've appreciated them every day, every single day. And how tall she was. Like, she came out tall. <laughs> she came out tall. <laughs> yeah. Is there something really about her not only leaving the nest, but, you know, embarking on all of these firsts that's so special for you? I just feel as though the struggle has paid off. Like, she's, she's growing up to be a lovely young girl and, or woman. <laughs> I still see her as my baby. And um, she's venturing, and she's moving on, and I've done what I had to do, and it's her turn to fly. Literally fly. Literally fly. fly. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great time. Thank you so much. Take care. Thanks, you too. Bye. I can right. tell with one look in Let's your go. eyes There's a half-written book with pages to write The story is yet to be told Still living to do Give me kiss. and life Give me kiss. to unfold. Bye. And if you're tempted to run and to hide, I'll run after you. Bye. I'll 